Swiggity Swag, what's in the bag? Jay here, bringing you guys more of My Hero Academia Smash Tab here on the channel. And today, we're going to have another discussion video. Uh, yesterday, I uploaded a video talking about if we actually did need Smash Rising or not. And I was on the side of, yeah, I think we needed Smash Rising because a lot of things in Smash Tab aren't really all that great. With that being said, there are things in Smash Tab I do like and I do enjoy playing the game. But there are a lot of mechanical things going on in the game that I just don't like. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the things that I don't really like about Smash Tap, but I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button down below to show your support in the video description below. Check out the Discord and Twitter, especially the Discord so you can stay up to date with the game and all that good stuff. In the comments below, let me know what you guys don't like about Smash Tap. Let me know what you guys like about Smash Tap um, and all that good stuff. And if you're new around here, you like Smash Tap, Smash Rising, and other gotcha games, consider hitting that, uh, hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel. So, with Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video and let's just start, I guess, roasting Smash Tap. I, why not, you know? Because, I mean, I have really nothing else better to do when it comes to this game. So, one thing I don't like about Smash Tap is the auto battle system. Um, I rarely ever use auto um, because it, it's one of those things where it's like I've used auto in other games and it performs so much better in other games than it does in Smash Tap. So for example, I play Brave Souls. You guys know I always compare Smash Tap to Brave Souls and Dokkan and stuff because those are like the top three games that I play that, you know, that I invest my time into. So when it comes to Brave Souls, uh, I almost always auto in that game. Like there, there are rarely any moments where I actually don't use auto. Um, and the reason why is because even when you auto in Brave Souls, you can you like uh, your character will still use their special attacks and stuff, right? And that's what you want to do. You know, I, I think that's cool. Now, of course, they won't use they won't they'll, well they'll use their strong attack. That's what it's called. They they'll use their strong attacks. Uh, they won't use their special, but they'll use their strong attacks. And like honestly, most of the time you don't even need your uh, your special to win. You could just win with you know your strong attacks and you're good to go and then i've uh, played dragalia lost and dragalia lost has an auto system as well but with uh, dragalia lost you can go full auto or if you start touching the screen it'll temporarily disable the auto function meaning that you're basically just playing the game normally which i think is dope so so like with with these games doing this kind of thing you know you have smash tap over here where you have the auto function but they won't use their special attack they won't use their smash attack or anything so you have to manually click it yourself so at that point it's like well why don't i just like just play the game you know or just do sim semi auto because semi auto uh, basically you tap the screen and they'll move and they'll just auto lock and auto aim and stuff But you're still playing the game itself, but with the full auto function in smash tap They just punch and kick, but they don't they don't roll um, You know, they don't well, I don't think any game rolls really um, When you're on auto, but they don't they just they don't do their special and you kind of need to use your special in smash tap so it's like why have the auto function when semi auto is probably like your best bet to use you know so that's one thing i don't like about the game another thing i don't like is the friend system or i guess the support system whatever they want to call it so i have like 400 <laughs> something requests or whatever and i can't delete them okay i don't know if there's a way to delete all of them or not but I cannot delete them or I can't delete them from the screen where you get to see all of them like you either have the choice to accept the supporter request or you just close out of it but like I cannot delete my my requests and it's incredibly annoying um, I mean I'm hardly ever in that menu anyway but when you do go to that menu and you see like 21 pages of people requesting to like be your friend or support or whatever it's just like, yo, what's going on here? <laughs> what's going on here? Can we can we delete these? No, you cannot delete them. So uh, I'm not really a big fan um, of that. It's just it, it's just something that I'm just not. I, I don't know. I don't I don't like it. It's just uh, I'll probably have like a screenshot on the screen just to show you guys what I'm talking about. But 
yeah honestly i just don't like the sub uh, like the support system and then speaking of the support system you guys already know i also don't like taking supporters on quests because most of the time they are com honestly all of the time they are completely and totally useless they are they don't do anything they take they take way too much damage and they end up dying before you even get to the mini boss before you, and then you get to the boss and then at the same time they they attack like once every three seconds or so and so they're not doing any real damage you know even if you take like an incredibly strong unit like uh new hampshire uh smash all might even if you take him and he's a really strong unit he can like one shot a lot of like basic enemies he still gets jumped because he attacks slower than the enemy the enemy attacks faster than he does and there are more enemies than him and so he's just taking a lot of unnecessary damage and it's just like how is how is it that we have a really good character as a support character but they still lose <laughs> like it, it it's, it's ridiculous to me it, it's, it makes no sense it's like why even bring them on the on the quest when they're not going to really do anything which is why i'm really looking forward to the the, uh, the new system um in smash rising because it, it seems like it's going to work out a little bit better and instead of like having an extra unit come along with you um instead you just have like you get like a boost or something i think that's really dope and then you know if we compare it to other games you know the other other game support systems are so much better okay because in uh see in dragalia lost uh you don't get to take an extra character but you do get to use um that supporter special that friend special which comes in handy like it really does come in handy and then in bleach um the special or the the supporter or the friend or whatever while they won't use their special attack they will use their um they will use their strong attacks and again you don't really need your special in bleach uh, a good chunk of the time to complete like events and stuff so you're good to go there but smash tap it's just kind of like eh you know in, in dokkan battle if you take a friend or guest with you then you get to use their leader skill which makes your team all that much stronger but then in smash tap it's just kind of like why is this even here so i don't even know but anyways another thing that i don't really like about smash tap is the time limited events now don't get me wrong, the time limited units are phenomenal. I think, you know, the Nomu, the Aizawa, and definitely the Shigaraki are top tier units. They are really good, they are dope. Well, let me not say Nomu, because it's Nomu, but definitely Shigaraki though. Like, they're, they're, they're pretty solid units. But the thing that I don't really like about it is the fact that one, 99 luck units don't work in time limited, which, okay, that's fine because most of the 99 luck units would get bodied anyway. So you probably wouldn't even really want to bring them. So cool, fine, whatever. The drop rate is really, 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 really bad. Okay, <laughs> like it's really bad, you guys. Um, so the drop rate is really bad. And then even the even like getting the clear reward, um, it's one of those things where it's like you got to get lucky enough to get the clear reward, and you get rewarded more if you host rather than join someone else's room. It's like sure you can go ahead and piggyback off of someone uh, uh, someone else's stamina and everything like that's great and all, but you get you you benefit more when you host because you get the clear reward and you get the possibility of a drop. So then instead of getting just one time limited unit, you could get two time limited units in a run or you can get one time limited unit in a run or you can get zero and you just get a rainbow gummy i don't know it's it's I, it, it, it like that's just like uh you know but then at the same time it's available three times a day for only an hour and so you basically have to literally sit aside time to grind out this event for an hour right and then at the same time they're kind of difficult and so you probably won't be able to do as many runs as you will want because you need like specific units or you need people to carry you and it's really it's, i mean it's easy but it's also hard to carry when it comes to, like let's say shigaraki for example because shigaraki he can he one shot you like no matter who you are he will one shot you. <laughs> he will one shot you in a heartbeat and so you're basically constantly rolling around and stuff and it's just like i said it's it, it, there's so many factors that just make time limited a chore 
right? With that being said, if you do 99 luck, you know, your time limited units, then those are bragging rights until Smash Horizon comes out and luck is no longer a thing. But, you know, it's cool. It's rewarding, sure. The process to get there is just flat out annoying to me. So that's also another thing I don't like about Smash Tap. And then moving on, another thing I don't like is the training. I don't like training. I don't like it whatsoever. I think that like it's it was good up until I figured out that the maximum level of training is 20. Um, <laughs> I think that's absolutely ridiculous to me because you only need to hit level five in order to use all three of the gadget slots, right? And so then what's the incentive of going further than level five? I mean, sure, you get, you know, stat boost, uh, you get, you know, your attack, defense boost, HP boost, uh, SP boost, you get, you get all these boosts and stuff. And it's like, that's cool and everything, but like that's not for me that's not an, that's not enough for me that's not enough incentive to go all the way from level 5 to level 20 right and then like as you do the as you do the training and stuff you buy the tickets you, you do like the 300 uh, minute training whatever it is like the experience that you start getting from it is like less and less and less and so you're basically you have to kind of just sit there and just do it you know for a very long time right and it's just like no it's, just, it's not worth it to me to me going to level five maybe like level seven level eight like th that's like the cutoff point for me because it's just it's just not worth it because at that point it's just like just use gadgets use the proper gadgets and you're good to go you know so I don't know like they they added the whole training feature into uh smash tab and then it was just like why is the max level 20 <laughs> like if it was level 10 then i wouldn't have a problem because hitting level 10 while it's a chore it's not like it's not that bad but hitting level 20 when you only need to get to level five to use all three gadget slots ridiculous to me absolutely ridiculous and then the last thing that i didn't like about smash tap which luckily they changed it this year was the banner rates i i hated the old banner rates the banner rates were like two percent okay so essentially if you wanted a unit you had to be either super 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 lucky uh you had to either re-roll for that unit or you had to be a complete whale and fork over your whole paycheck to this game in order to get a, like a copy or maybe two of a, you know a specific unit right and it's one of those things where it's like there there was no reason to ever summon on any banner other than like a really good smash fest banner like there was just no there was just no point and luckily they changed the rates they changed them to like five percent on smash fest banners uh, I think it's like 6% on event banners and then 7% on like the regular uh, banner that no one ever wants to summon on unless you have gotcha tickets. I think I think that's what it, I think that's like that's how the rates are now. I'm not necessarily sure, but yeah, dude, no, the rates for this game were so bad, man. Like they were really bad. Like I was really surprised uh, when I found out like what the rates were and I was able to even pull uh smash fast grand torino like i was i was very surprised to even pull him on a single right i think it was a single i'm not sure i think it was a single yeah like i don't know man the, the old banner rates were bad but i'm glad that they changed them though i glad i'm glad that they changed them like five uh five percent um because there was just there was no reason to summon there was no reason to summon and it's like i guess maybe they wanted to get people to uh buy uh buy gems and stuff but at the same time it's like no <laughs> no just re-roll like i would tell i would tell someone to re-roll and sit through the re-rolls before ever telling them to spend money uh to just get shafted all over again right like at least with a re-roll it's free you know so i don't know but luckily they fixed the banner rates and hopefully these banner rates carry over to smash rising when it does drop but that is going to go ahead and be it for this video, you guys. I'm sorry that I kind of just like, it was like a, a giant run on sentence. There was really no cutoff points between like each, uh, each thing that I didn't like about Smash Tap. But 
I don't know, when it comes to these kind of discussion videos for me, I just like sitting in front of a camera and just talking to you guys and just telling you guys what I like and don't like. I mean, but there are things that I do like about Smash Tap. Like, I like the gameplay about Smash Tap. I, I mean, I like my hero and I like the card arts and everything like that as well. Uh, leveling up characters and stuff is actually really easy to do as well. So there are, there are like things that I do like about Smash Tap. I think Smash Tap is a good game, but at the same time, like I said, there are things that I just didn't like about the game and i hope that they improve on these things when smash rising does end up dropping if it ever drops because at this point it is a myth but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did don't forget to detroit smash that like button down below to show your support in the description below check out the smash tap discord and twitter in the comments below let me know what you guys don't like about smash tap let me know what you guys like about smash tap as well and all that good stuff if you're new around here you like smash tap and smash rising other gacha games and all that good stuff consider hitting that subscribe button down below and ring the bell so you don't miss another upload here on the channel. But with that, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.